Can you see what's on my blouse? Yes, butterflies. Butterflies all over. So let's get started and learn about butterflies. Boys and girls, let's see what this monarch butterfly looked like before it became a beautiful butterfly. There are four stages of the monarch butterfly's life cycle. First, there's the egg. Second, the caterpillar. Third, the chrysalis. And then the adult butterfly. The adult butterfly waits a few hours for its wings to fill with blood and dry before flying away for the first time. Butterflies are insects. Butterflies fly from one flower to the next flower looking for the nectar they drink as food. When a butterfly lands on a flower, some pollen sticks on its legs and body. So when the butterfly lands on the next flower, fruit or vegetables, it helps pollinate the plant to produce new seeds. Isn't that wonderful boys and girls? I love the butterfly. Butterflies have four wings. A butterfly can live between a week and a year. Scientists estimate there are between 15,000 to 20,000 different species of butterflies and they also come in different colors. Butterflies often have brightly colored wings with a pattern made of tiny scales. Like I said before, boys and girls, my favorite insect is the butterfly. Hi, boys and girls. I'm gonna show you how to draw and color this butterfly. Get a piece of white paper and you're going to fold it in half like this. The reason why we're folding it is so that there is a guideline for us. Put it back down. So right here, this line right here, that's the guideline. So I'm going to use a black crayon, but I want you boys and girls to use a pencil and an eraser in case you need to erase. So right here, the top of the paper, we're going to draw ourselves a circle. Now can you see the fold right here? It's right in the center of that circle. Then I'm going to make the body of our butterfly all the way down here. You see the fold right there is right in the center of that. So we are going to draw one wing over here. Start right here. I'm going to try to take it halfway to the body. Right there. Now I'm going to come over here and make a circle there so I know that's where I'm going to stop my other wing because it has to be look exactly like this. 
So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to try my best to make it exactly like that side. Oh darn, it doesn't look the same, but almost. See there, I might come right about here. See why we need an eraser? So you guys get your eraser. Erase if you have to. Then we're going to come here, make another wing. I'm going to come across like this, put a little dot there so I know where it's going to stop. So it's like halfway underneath the wing here. Yeah, because this has a sack like the other side, boys and girls. Doesn't look exactly the same, but close. Now, we are going to draw 10 circles around here. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five circles there. See where it dips right here? I'm going to do the six right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten circles. I'm going to come over to the other side and draw ten circles. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got ten circles over here and ten circles over here. Then down here, down here, I'm going to draw one big circle like that. So if I draw one big circle there, I have to draw one big circle over here. Now I'm going to do a medium sized circle right here. I'm going to put a medium sized circle over here. And then a small circle here. And a small circle here. Okay. So you have your crayons here. You need to get Blue, red, green, orange, and purple. So first we're going to start with the blue crayon. So here we're going to come over to this wing over here and color these two blue. See them? Come over here and color these two blue. Now get your red. Go here, do these two red. Over here, these two red. You see a pattern, boys and girls? A pattern of colors. Now I'm going to do green, two green, and two green. Then comes orange. To orange, 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 orange. And the last is purple. Two purples. Purple, purple. Purple, purple here. Now let's go down the bottom part of the wing. I'm going to do a blue here. A blue here and a blue here. Blue. Then the next color I want you to get is red. We're going to continue this pattern of the blue. Then the next pattern is red. And a red. And what comes after the red? Look up here. What's the next color? Green. Yes, green. Now we are going to draw some eyes on our butterfly. Circles here. And then inside this circle, I'm going to draw some pupils here. That 
circle. Then we're going to draw a triangle for its mouth. For its antenna, you're going to draw a rectangle shape for its head. Rectangle. Rectangle over here. The top of the rectangle, draw a circle. And a circle over here. Okay. Now we're going to go on the body. We're going to draw 10 lines. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten. There are ten lines. Count with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to go back in our pattern. We want to get our blue because our first color is blue. So we're going to color in two parts here blue. So there's one, two. Now what is the next color? The next color is red. See the red here? Coloring two reds. And what's our next color? Look here. It is green. So we're coloring two green. The next color, boys and girls, orange. Got a pattern to follow. Two orange. And the last one is purple. The purple, two purple. Then we get our black to color in that tail back part of this tape. So there's count by twos here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Now I want you to get your yellow. We're going to color in our butterfly yellow. So get the yellow. Color it in as best you can. I'm doing mine real fast. background needs to be colored in so it's not all white. And boys and girls, how do we spell butterfly? How do you spell it? B U T T E R F L Y Butterfly Boys and girls, look at this beautiful butterfly that landed on my jacket. See the patterns in its wings? You guys did a great job! Now you are smarter! You learned how to draw a butterfly and you know your colors and shapes and patterns better? Yoo-hoo! Boys and girls, I will see you the next time.
Teaching tip. Teachers, parents, high interest art is a great tool to use to introduce new or review concepts like math, English, language arts, science. The more fun it is for your kids, the faster they will learn and retain.